Distilled spirits make up more than 35% of the U.S. market for alcoholic beverages. Now, consumers are trading up by spending more on small volume products made by specialists, many generation family proprietors. Michael Quintus is the president and the chief executive of Vintus. They're the exclusive U.S. importer of Tessero Cognac. He explains the growth of premium cognac in the United States. The cognac category is, a, is, is an important category. It's about 4 million cases in the United States. It's a $1.5 billion business. And it's a very traditional business. Of course, cognacs have been around for centuries. And in the U.S. market, it's always been an important uh, category. The category itself, the cognac category, is dominated by four major houses. It's Remy Martin, Corvoisier, uh, Martel, uh, Hennessy. And um, they dominate, they, they control about 90 percent of the total cognac market in the United States. Uh, and they specialize primarily in the introductory level cognacs, VS and, and VSOP. That's the largest share of the overall cognac business. The minority share, the angel share almost, um, for the category is in the XO grade. And these are cognacs that are aged for at least 10 years in barrel. Or at least, currently the law is six years, actually. But in 2016, effective with 2016, the requirement will be 10 years. And this is where Tesseron has decided to specialize its business. It's not interested in the intro introductory category. We're in the luxury business, and that's the focus of, of our company. What does luxury cost these days uh, when it comes to uh, Tesseron Cognac? Well, we're going to look at three of the special category of wines in the Tesseron range known as the Signature. Uh, collection. The introductory one is called Exo Passion, and that would cost three hundred dollars to a consumer. Um, the next these level, are for seven hundred and fifty uh, milliliters. milliliters. Okay, that's correct. Right, the next so level up would be the Extra Legende, also Xo, and that would be five hundred dollars. And then the top of the range uh, is known as the Exo uh, Trésor, which is French for treasure. Uh, which costs $1,200. How is it all made? How, well, give us uh, maybe a step-by-step. -step. If we were to go to visit yeah. uh, the family, what would we see? You'd, you'd see vineyards, you know, like you do in any other wine region. Uh, in the fall, they harvest the grapes. Uh, that harvesting process is the same as, as otherwise. Then they, then they ferment the wine, as wine is normally fermented. But the difference then is that it goes through a double distillation process in small copper stills. And, uh, and then a long period of aging in their quiet cellars that are usually at high humidity uh, in very old barrels. These are particular barrels that are peculiar to the cognac region, known as the Tirson barrels. And they come from the limousine forests. And they don't use new oak typically as much. They, they mellow in these very old barrels that allow an exchange of oxygen. Uh, and Tesseron is really dedicated to this long artisanal process and utilizing older stocks that they've built up over these decades. I mean, over a century that Tesseron has been in the cognac business.